the tree right here, right here, right in front of my barrel. What, what do you guys think? I sound anything like a duck yet? I just got this new call. But anyways, guys, what's up? Outside of every day for another video. You're in my truck again. Uh, the lighting is kind of bad because the sun's right in front of me and you can't really see me. That doesn't help. My hand's in the way. But we're going over to Gage's again. We're going squirrel hunting this time. Um, I actually have a... Uh, well, I got the 12-gauge in the back. But we're going to be using... Um, yeah, that's what we're going to be using. I don't even know what I'm saying. But i got to go get him freaking Wendy's. His fat... But but uh, we're we're heading over to Gages. Uh, hopefully, I told you guys after Illinois videos that I'd uh, be hunting more here, and that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been trying to get animals in the trap. Haven't got a single one yet, so you guys haven't seen that. I just I was I was trying to hunt doves in my backyard yesterday. Pellet gun got all jacked up. The scope was wanky and off. That didn't work out either. Now we're going to hunt squirrels when we have a shotgun. If you if you if you jack that up. And you can't hit a scroll with a shotgun, then you just suck. So basically, if you guys see me miss today, you can go ahead and just tell me I suck. But we're heading over there. I'll see you guys soon. Um, it, it, it's been really cold, but today it's a real warm afternoon. So I've got I've got good hopes. Uh, I went over and checked the trap, and there's a lot of like movement in the forest. On those cold days, a lot of the animals will hunker down and not really move much. But uh, I, I I'm hoping to get a. Uh, get a few squirrels cut them up um and uh yeah so i'll see you guys there stay tuned uh and it's gonna be a good one as always i appreciate y'all watching stay tuned It's on a tree that's laying down on another tree. It's literally right where the tree meets the other tree that it's leaning on. Oh, oh. Shoot. Shoot it. I'm jammed. I didn't hit him. He's on the he's on the top of it. He's on the top of it, Gage. He's still on the top of it. He's still. Mine is two, bro. Yes. No. Here, you want me to hit him again? You want me to shoot shoot him again? Let's go. No, he fell. <laughs> yes, sir, buddy. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, my God. I had to hit it 35 times. <laughs> Poor dude. See if we can see any more. Yes, sir. Here. Squirrel down, baby. I'll carry it. Right, well, I gotta find something to hit my shell out. Yeah, but my that is. I don't know if I'm using three. I, I'm pretty sure this takes two and three quarters. I don't know how it jammed. I know you. I don't know if you hit him at first time. I know I hit him at second. And then yeah, you for sure hit him the second. Him. I don't know if I hit him the first either. He was hanging though. He was like. Yeah, he was alive, just like sitting there holding on. I heard more. I heard another one back there, and I think there was another one 
up there. Definitely don't put this in the video. Guys, got us a squirrel. Uh, I don't know how good you can hear me on this camera, but yes, sir. Squirrel down. Yeah. Gage hit on the first time. <laughs> I, th I think I may have missed the first time. I don't know. You know how easy it is to clean these with scissors? Yeah. That didn't do shit. <laughs> See, it never jams. The only time it jams is whenever you're gonna you know, walk back through. I guess squirrels don't hibernate. <laughs> this is gonna be my pregame. Oh, right there, right there. Six lead pellets in the squirrel, that's great. That's six I can find out of like nowhere. What's up everybody, so I'm back home in my garage and we've got the squirrel right here. I don't get monetized, so we're gonna take full advantage of that. YouTube can't really do much to me other than take my video down, so I love you YouTube, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna show you guys how to clean this. I saw it online, it's super easy. Last time it took me forever, so I wanted to show you guys this in case you didn't know. It's a super easy way, it'll literally take me like three minutes, so let's get into it um, on how to clean the squirrel. I don't know if I said that yet or not, but. So all you need is scissors, a good pair. This probably, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but what you're gonna wanna do is dip the squirrel in the water. And that'll get all the hair off of it. Cause, uh, well as many of you may know, this meat has a lot of freaking hair on it. It's disgusting. So, wait for all that water to get off of him. Put him back on. Cut them. I'm doling the crap out of my scissors, but then you're gonna cut this off. I won't show that on. And then cut the tail. And then all you do is grab the back right here, cut that skin, and then you just pull that skin off. Here's a BB from the freaking when we shot it. And then you got your meat right here. Uh, we'll put some more water on it. And get some more of that hair off. But you got your freaking meat pretty much here. Shoot, my camera battery keeps dying on me, guys. Uh, I don't even know if the intro was good on this video because I was redoing it and my camera battery died. So I'm probably gonna have to use whatever I had. So. If I was weird, I was weird, I don't know. But continuing this, I'm gonna try to get it finished. I keep plugging it in over there, but I wanna get the squirrel finished before, well, it dies again. So this is your meat now. You know how people say to gut it before and whatever? Oh, it's really low. People say to gut it before and all that. All you gotta do, oh my gosh, there are BBs in this everywhere. There's one piece of meat. It looks freaking delicious. This will be the final platter right here. Really got to get going. The battery is blinking. Cut this other one. You know, honestly, a good pair of scissors would be really nice for this. And uh, there is no hair in this, honestly. I mean, I'm not seeing any hair, really. Uh, a lot of times, I mean, I had a ton of hair in some of the other stuff. Here, there's another BB coming out of it. My buddy was using freaking bird shot. He had a lot of shots in there. There's another entry hole of this. And uh, I think on that squirrel, the first time I shot, I hit it and I stunned it. There's another piece of meat. And then what you're going to do is you have this uh, tailbone, backbone thing. I probably should have kept the arms on, but you pretty much just cut it off. I mean, this is if you're concerned about the back straps. 
which in squirrels, I mean, there's not a lot of meat right there, but last time my family did not like that part, which, I mean, that's my family, they're picky. Ugh. Having sucky scissors for this part really does suck. Camera died again, but I'm rushing it because as you guys know, the longer you wait, the more hard it gets and well, that really only matters for the first step. After you shoot it, you want to genuinely clean it as soon as you can. Like if you shot it and then cleaned it right there, I mean, that's ideal if you wanted to, but it's kind of hard to transport and all that. I, I literally killed mine there, drove 15 minutes home after like an hour more of walking around and this girl's fine and I ended up with that. So. We don't know how it tastes yet, but if you guys are worrying about that, it doesn't really matter that that much. As you guys can see, you got it. You find the backbone and you cut under it and around it and go up to like the ribs area, and then the guts will just drop, and you'll literally have the rest of your meat left. But you guys see how the guts is dropping, and I'm just pulling up. I mean, it's really self-explanatory, but. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, you guys saw how I kind of just cut on the backbone, just cut around it, like on the sides, under it, and all that. Literally just drop the guts completely. Don't even mess with them. Look where your back straps are. It's kind of self-explanatory. Cut around it. Um, this piece isn't going to have too much meat, but, I mean, it's still a piece of meat. Um, and, like, say say you're giving this to somebody. I mean, those, those five pieces of meat right there, those don't look that bad. Think about it. I mean, that literally looks like, a, a chicken wing a chicken leg that's just not fried or anything yet but I mean especially like the the, the legs I mean those are perfect so if you want to get the game taste out I'm, I'm just gonna do it anyway I'm gonna put it in salt to preserve it a little bit and I'm gonna eat it tomorrow before my basketball game I have a little pregame uh, protein in there uh, my mom already made dinner tonight so I'm not really gonna focus too much on eating it today I do need to do that though and taste the squirrel itself and not hide the flavor, but uh, that's for another video. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to freaking, gosh, I, my freaking mind's all over the place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go put it in salt water, let it sit overnight, go tomorrow, I'll go get all my stuff that I want to cook it in, and I'll see you guys then. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed so far. And uh, yeah, also I'm, I really hope that my GoPro. I hope the quality was good. I hope you guys could hear me talking all that. It's my, it's my four session, not my five, and uh, the, the volume on it and the, just the the pixels and everything. It's not as good quality. So, but anyway, stay tuned. Uh, give this video a like if you want. I mean, it, it only helps me out, and it's not too hard on you guys. So, like it up. All right. So after I got the meat all cut, uh, I went inside real quick, washed it off with water. Make sure you get all your hair out. Uh, Try to get all the BBs out. And then we got our salt water. Just gonna do the same thing. Run your hands over all the blood clots, run your hands just through it. You'll get most of the blood out. It'll help the meat a little bit. And uh, make sure you don't have any of the BBs because if you bite into a BB, your freaking tooth is just gonna go. So, all right, I'm gonna do that, show you guys, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. So there's the final product, guys. I'm going to let that sit for about a day. If you want to get all the game taste out, let that sit for freaking an actual day. I'm just going to let it sit for probably 12 hours. Um, and that's the salt kind of takes bacteria and all that out. Um, see you guys tomorrow once we're uh, hitting it on the uh, frying pan. All right, y'all. So uh, it is the next day. I'm here with my brother in the kitchen. Uh, I just got done with the basketball game. Um, we're having a little after game snack here. Here's a squirrel. It sat in the uh, salt. I took it out already. I washed it off again just to get some of that extra hair off and all that. We got our oil and then our flour. We're not putting any um, Frank's red on it, so we really can taste the squirrel. How do you feel about that? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know, we're really going to be able to taste the squirrel. So, uh, yeah, let's try it. So, I'm going to get it in the flour. Um, put it, well, I guess after the flour, we can put it right on the thing. So, we should start it. So, let's get that done. Uh-oh. Alright. I guess. This I mean, thing's going in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drake, Drake is scared to eat this squirrel. Nope. 
Alright. That one's that one's yours. That one's nice and breaded. That's just like oh, straight it's meat. Oh, it smells great. <coughs> oh, buddy. <coughs> oh man, this is gonna give us corona. Bruh. Alright, hurry. Make sure you're getting this on B-roll. B-roll, what's going on? Did you miss all that B-roll? I didn't miss the B-roll, Donald. Hope we're doing this right. We are. We have the 7-1 in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we just gotta wait and we gotta flip them a few times. Oh yeah, that is, that does, that was good. Perfect. Dude, that was good. Perfect. Listen to that. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Uh oh. Probably uh No no no, that's good. Yep. Ooh, that one is good, bro. That's the ripper. that's that's just the bottom of the rib. Well rib. Anyway. Those might need more. I think those should go longer on the other side. Mm, I don't know. Oh my God, I saw that. Bro. I hope that didn't get on the camera. <laughs> Alright, final product right here, we kind of, you know, a few, I mean a little bit of it got burnt, but this other side, that is gayus. That's what you call gayus. Oh man, we may have went a little overboard on the cooking, but it's okay. This don't look bad. May have burnt it a tad bit. <laughs> have many more squirrels to fry. Hold on, hold on. Get a little, get that, get that sizzle in there, bro. <laughs> that tastes like straight squirrel. Be, be a, careful, cause there is a bone in there. It's kind of hot. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, I'm gonna give it a second. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really rough? Kind of. Bro, that tastes good. Actually, that's just, that's no seasoning. I had no a nothing. tiny bite. That is straight chicken wing. Or straight squirrel wing. Squirrel wing. I don't know, bro. It tastes good. I don't know what it tastes like. Not chicken? It's like. Are you serious? I don't even know. It actually tastes good, though. You should try it. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna like it. <laughs> Gosh dang, boy. Very salty. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. We definitely... Yeah, I shouldn't have soaked it in that much salt. And maybe I should have left it in there for 12 hours instead of 24. You left it in there for a whole day. Just this... like a chicken wing. That tasted good. This one is like... I don't know. Honestly. Waxy. Oh. <laughs> That'd be really good. I kind of wish I didn't let it sit in that salt for that long. Next time I'm not letting it sit that long. If Drake likes it, that's saying something. I just wish there was like more meat on it. Yeah. Oh, this is little bones. Bro, what the heck? It's ribs. Oh wait, no. You can see all its tiny bones breaking. I was definitely a little bit more chewed there. I think I broke its freaking arm. Well, if I was dying in the woods, this would be really nice. Oh yeah. Well, I prefer a freaking deer or something with more meat. Yeah, that is true. I feel like a deer would be easier to kill than. Eh. What? You think? Well, if you have all the time in the world, probably. Because you can't really miss them. I don't know. And that really just depends on your area. You want that piece? What? What do you? What do you think of this squirrel outside here? Honest opinion. I mean, it was good, but I think I kind of ruined it a little bit with my cooking ability. But it wasn't bad at all, honestly. Like, 
I think um, if you're not grossed out by actually catching it and eating or like cooking it right in front of yourself, why not? Yeah, I mean, there's not, there's not too much meat. Definitely get more than one squirrel whenever you're eating, especially with two people, mm -hmm. but um, probably two squirrels would be good for one person or make them like with biscuits and gravy. I might need to try that Ooh. too, but um, yeah, um, that's it. Squirrel's good. Uh, got got the uh, nice meat. Um, we kind of devoured all that. There's breading left and the ribs and all that, but um, if you guys didn't like this video, uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead, uh, please go drop me a like. Um, it helps the video rank higher and helps my videos go better. Um, I appreciate your guys' support. I appreciate y'all if you made it to this point in the video. And if you want to see more, please go like the video. Let Smash me know in the comments. Like Smash the like button. <laughs> Subscribe. You know all of the all the thing. I got TikTok too, Outside Outdoors, and I got Instagram. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see more squirrel catch and cook. Uh, any other animal just let me know in the comments i'm trapping stuff i'm doing it all whatever you guys want to see but i appreciate you guys watching especially made it here and uh outsider out peace thanks for watching part 8000